Hello everybody. Hi. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a collective timeless reading. So whenever it finds its way to you is the right time. Just keep in mind it's a general reading. So see which signs and symbols, ideas resonate for you in your particular situation. Help to bring you a little clarity on whatever you're wondering, concerned, confused about. This could broaden your perspective show you something in a different way in a new light it could narrow your focus and show you something you could be missing but you always trust yourself trust yourself that divine inner guidance is inside of you and always try to make balanced decisions between logic and intuition so you make sound decisions that are based in love for the highest and the greatest good of everybody all of us so we're all uplifted in love let's begin the reading we're going to start with the messages from your angels oracle cards let's see what god source from spirit christ consciousness our higher selves angels and energies of love have for the highest and the greatest good of all clarity for the collective please thank you Desiree. <laughs> what is it? Isn't there a song by a singer named Desiree? It's gotta be. You gotta be fat. You gotta be bold. You gotta be wiser. You gotta be hard. You gotta be tough. You gotta be stronger. You gotta be cool. You gotta be calm. You gotta stay together. All I know, all I know, love will save the day. If you have not been on my channel before and you just heard that, and you just heard me sing that whole thing, I don't normally do that much of a song when it comes through, nor right away in a reading, but those lines, maybe it's important. I just felt like it should all come out. So the song you gotta be, um, I just I feel like it does have good lyrics. So like read the books your father read, something something a little maybe look up the lyrics for you if you're used to my channel then you, you got a little serenade at the beginning of this one so it does say no there's a no conditions aren't favorable right now wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you ask source ask god ask whatever you have faith in your higher self um so it's a waiting game that or no like that's weird energy to be in you know sometimes you want something to happen you were all ready get all dressed and it doesn't happen so there's a reason that maybe you'll never know maybe you'll find out later why something can't come through quite yet or why that particular direction is maybe not exactly the right direction um Sometimes it's just because things have to happen naturally and evolve in certain situations or with certain people before this desire is ready to, so it can grow properly. So it can actually um, yeah, be on a solid foundation. It's a really gentle card though. It's this woman that's kind of like, I don't know, like pastels or like watercolor. We look into other options. So maybe it's that this one particular way, you like your the goal is still there, but you gotta go a different direction to reach it. You gotta go on a different path. You gotta approach this position, person, situation a different way. So give yourself time to figure that out. Um, if it is a waiting game and you're itchy and you want something to happen and it's like uncomfortable to wait for something, maybe it's just, okay, maybe if you can't figure something out yet, just redirect your focus, your attention, so that you're doing something that feels productive for you, fulfilling for you, maybe just takes your mind off of something. Um, I feel like it could be, I'm getting like somebody just cleaning their house. <laughs> just cleaning your house um reading a book going on a walk doing something different i see friends like having tea together or coffee 
Um, so do something with your energy in the meantime. And maybe that solution or that different approach or maybe that conversation is going to give you a good idea for how you can go back and figure something out. Oh, well, this is at the bottom. What is it? Layla. Spend time alone in nature meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So... Yeah, maybe you know both these people are alone maybe it's just having a little you time you know if something's not happening right now bring it back to you self-care self-love do something fun with yourself connect with nature animals meditation can be active too some people need to move and dance and you know maybe work out at the gym or get creative with a project something with their hands you know so they're physical body is moving and doing something they're still like producing or being active somehow but you can kind of be gentle in your mind um, and then if you're you have to look at your desires and intentions you know where your desires coming from a place where you know it's you're considering everybody in a beneficial way you know everybody's being considered with love everybody's um, you know, need to um, like make their own decisions grow in their own way so it's maybe you know it says positive perspectives gaining so maybe it's changing thoughts I'm getting like I almost want to say like self-sabotaging energy <laughs> Like maybe you always got in your own way or you have everything ready to go, but then maybe it doesn't work out in the right timing or I feel like you're ready for something though. So maybe you just don't think because of situations in the past it can actually happen. So you stop before. So if, I don't feel like you, you should really stop if you're heading in this place that feels right but maybe it's just not as fast as you thought, or it's just not the exact way. It's like you don't have the map yet. You know, you have like a part of the map, but you're like kind of on your own to like navigate the forest. Um, let's see, what do I have that I can use? Let's go to the animal cards. Let's do animal whispers, empowerment cards, get clarity for the collective on. Layla and Desiree. I hear that song over and over my head now. Clarity for the collective, please. Thank you. The zebra. zebra but this says become become one with the herd I mean you're in a you're not in a normal herd here you're zebras you're kind of unusual so maybe it's like finding your people or it could be a person or you're like you know like letting your stripes sparkle I mean if you're one with the herd maybe you were against the grain before Maybe you never kind of went along with, I mean, I don't, it's funny because it's like not how I am at all. Like I don't, I don't normally like run with the herd. I'm like usually the one that goes the total other direction. So maybe you feel like you're the one that's like, I don't want to do what everyone else does. <laughs> I want to do it my way. Um, but maybe there's a way to still be your individual self in the situation. Be your special, unique, you know, energy, but still go with the flow Maybe like, you know, if this is a situation where you're involved with a group, a family, something at work, um, you know, maybe it's trying to see everyone's perspective, um, you know, so things are smoother. I still feel like you're like the pink zebra though. <laughs> That's what I see. Like you maybe don't blend in completely 
or maybe that's somebody else like you're hanging out you kind of like there's all these energies that are exactly the same and all of a sudden a pink zebra walks in i'll show you this and you're like ooh, like you could do that <laughs> like now i just see like i don't know i just so weird like i just see you like having a cool tattoo or having your nails done or something like that and somebody's like oh i always wanted to do that and you're like let's go come with me i'll show you where i go like i got the best artist ever like let's get it done my treat maybe somebody's like doing that for you and that kind of gave me chills i know that's silly like you know to get your nails done or hey maybe it's a massage or maybe you're going to the circus and seeing some zebras <sighs> But I feel like if it's not just being like everybody else, it's maybe more spiritual than that. And starting to notice that you're connecting to others that have a similar vibration. Like they kind of get you. You know, you're kind of into the same things or like maybe not even, but your energies match somehow. So sometimes people that are into something totally different, if your energies match, that kind of keeps things interesting. Like new subjects to talk about. Like I never knew that. So maybe there is a situation you just kind of get, have to like, I hear agree to disagree maybe, but I feel like in another situation, it's like really standing out and being a special little like inspiration to others. So, I mean, maybe at the end, it's not a, maybe it's, maybe it could be a situation where all of a sudden everybody's a pink zebra. Or maybe somebody says, huh, that's really cool, but I want to be a purple zebra. I want to be a yellow zebra. Hey, I'm good at the zebra I am. <laughs> I'm like, you still have all the zebras, but maybe there's like individual expressions. Like you're a trendsetter. <laughs> at the bottom, you have the gorilla. Aw, aw, I feel like there's a nurturing here. What a big, like, gigantic, beautiful animal. So it says gentleness and strength. This is almost like if it was in the tarot, it's almost like the strength card. It's that you don't have to force something to show how strong you are. And it's weird. Sometimes if you have a big crowd, you know, and you're yelling, everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet. No, I'm not gonna yell now, but if you're yelling, you actually don't really get, you don't always get everyone's attention. But sometimes, if you whisper, maybe you need a microphone, but when you whisper, all of a sudden you're heard. You know, when you have like that, that lion or that gorilla or that big, rough energy that feels beast like there has to be a trust first there has to be a equal trust and a gentleness like you're not gonna hurt you know you're not you're not out to hurt anyone you just want to help but maybe if you're not you know you don't see it today i'll try again tomorrow you know if you have that lion has a wound or something you know maybe maybe it lets you help them right away you might need to you know, come back a couple times. Hey, I got a big piece of meat here for you today. You gonna let me in and help you mend that wound? Maybe eventually that trust comes through. So maybe you have to, like, maybe it's not getting through to somebody or a situation right away. It takes some time. It could be like really getting to know one another. Seeing, you know, that somebody's coming from the right place. This could be somebody with you too. Maybe they've been trying to get through to you. You have a perception upon them or... Maybe they seem like they're like a badass or a little too tough or not your thing or, you know, or maybe there's a situation. I just see somebody like banging on a door to get an interview. Like, you said you would let me in. I need the interview. I am the best. <laughs> and then maybe it's not that. Maybe it's the person that like, they're, they're like, it's okay, you can go ahead. <laughs> and like you go in and you just like gently get the job. It's just like somehow the gentle energy is going to heal or grab that opportunity, get through in that conversation. 
Maybe it's just gentleness on yourself. Maybe that takes a lot of strength. Maybe you're always hard on yourself. You're always hard on yourself, beating yourself up for things you didn't wrong. Why did I do that? Why did I say that? Or like, you know, if you're hard on yourself, then maybe it's just giving yourself this gentleness. We mess up, you know? Sometimes we don't do things how we envisioned, didn't go as planned. So, you know, be gentle and have the self-awareness to maybe not do it like that again in the future. So, should we move to the tarot? Yeah, let's do it. I actually have this modern tarot. Do I want to use this one or do I want to use the doorways? Let's start with one card from the modern tarot and see what comes out. I looked at this one first. So, clarity on the gorilla, gentleness in strength. Become one with the herd and yet spend some time alone meditating. Got your desires, interests, having a positive outcome. And then having to wait a little bit because the conditions aren't quite right yet. I feel like you're going to feel out that opportunity. If it's not that right day to go into the cage with the lion, not the right day. Another day. That's okay. If they don't like meat, maybe you need to, you know, maybe they like spinach. Try spinach out next time. <laughs> but if you need a little comfort or someone else does, have that gentle energy. It seems like somebody needs to be held or heard, and especially with this. Sometimes people don't want, like they want to, they want help, but they don't, sometimes they, people need to speak about what they're going through, but they don't actually want somebody to try to fix it. They're not saying something to have you fix the situation. Sometimes people just need to get it out so they, you know, have some support or something, you know, they can say it and it gets it out there so they can get that healing or solution inside of themselves so there could be somebody that just doesn't necessarily want you to dive on in and be superman and save the situation maybe they just need to be heard maybe that's you clarity for the collective start with one card please the ace of swords Maybe they need to be heard in a conversation. This is clear conversation. This is also when maybe in this meditation, you really get that bright idea on how to communicate. The sword is floating, but you have all these books. It's an interesting ace of swords. Look at all these books in this archway. It's like a doorway. So it's gaining knowledge, gaining more clarity self-knowledge there's so many books so books can be actual knowledge they can be stories they can be instructions they can be art they could be anything in these so i mean these could be the the chapters of your life you know and now it's like they created all these chapters of your you book have created this doorway to walk through something new or different. Or maybe walking through it creates a new chapter, a brand new book, a new story. Maybe some of you are actually writers, screenplays, songs. Maybe you're photographers and you're putting a book. Maybe you're a painter and you're making a calendar. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you have a really good voice and you could read an awesome book on YouTube. If anyone compliments your voice more than a couple times, that's like, you know, spirit giving them little messages like angels, like, hey, your voice is freaking amazing and people would really like to hear it. And then maybe whatever, and it doesn't have to be a book, whatever you're interested in. But maybe some of you do voiceovers. That's a great job. Um, Maybe it's reading books. Like It could be children's books. It could be going to the library and reading books to children. 
be reading a sexy book to your honey, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, I don't know, the Ace of Swords is a, it's like, I kind of see it as the light bulb, the little cartoon light bulb that goes off in you, like the aha idea, the clarity, the light goes on. It's like it was off before, it's like you pulled something, like, oh, that's where that is. Um, but it's also communication, clear communication, truthful communication. In here, it's not, not you know, not agreeing, not seeing the other person's perspective, not hearing somebody, just talking over them, or just refusing to speak. Like, no, I'm not gonna speak to you. Silent treatment, read my mind. I'm not gonna tell you, figure it out on your own. <laughs> That's like upside down. So we always like to look at things both the ways. Let's get one more card. Clarity on Ace of Swords, clarity coming through. New communication, new idea. Collective. <laughs> look at this girl. Oh my God, wait, look. Look at how happy she is. So if this is this, where are you? Where are you, Layla? If this is this, this alone time, and this is you just like, I'm gonna, have me a bubble bath. I'm gonna light some candles, get some, you know, scenty things going on, put her, it's like, she even, she didn't even wanna get her hair done. She's like, I am not gonna, I don't even care about my hair. I'm gonna put, put, I'll just put some, you know, that swimming cap on and get in the bath. She's got wine, she's got a book. She brought herself some flowers. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean she's alone in the room. You know, she could be having a good old conversation. <laughs> Somebody could be joining her in the bath in a little bit. They could be reading that book together. Oh, it's so cute. There's so much happiness. I love how these cards, like, like you really feel happy looking at the card. And that's what the card is. It's happiness. It's wishes coming true. Your wish is granted. <laughs> or it's like the, it's abundance. It's feeling abundant. <sighs> It's like I like to say, the, the, it's the open bar. It's the feast. It's all yours. But you always have to look at it the only way. There's all the drinks on the bar. You don't need to indulge in everything to really feel happiness. Happiness. It's knowing when you have enough. You had enough and you're, that's good. You're good there. So it's, it is that you can have more, but I feel like when the nine of cups comes through, it's that you, you get enough and then you share the rest. You know, you have enough, like you try this. This is amazing. Try this meatball, try this drink, try this thing. Like it's like you want to share. You want other people to be happy too, when you're in this state of mind. So it is also, you know, so now, like do be careful what you wish for. Like, you know, are you really ready for it? Are you prepared for it? Is it, are you coming from the right intentions with that want? Is everyone, you know, can it, is it possible? Is it reality? You know, you might actually get it. Um, but this is usually that you get a wish, at least one good wish coming through. That's one good time in the bath. <laughs> it's like a really, it's a beautiful energy to come through. It's knowing that things are possible. Maybe, you know, maybe it's just the energy change in you. It could be the energy change in somebody else. Maybe that's the wish. Like, I wish they weren't such a grumpy puss all the time. <laughs> you know? Or maybe somebody's like, I don't know, reading a good book, watches some good comedy, something happens, and maybe this, that, I, I don't know why that would be somebody's wish. I guess it would be if you're around a grumpy puss. Um, so maybe it starts by you focusing on your own energy and stuff and that kind of reflects in that situation somebody can't help but start it's like kind of when something's bleh, bleh, like that whatever that is and like something comes through and it just you just start to laugh like it just totally flips the energy around right away um so maybe you just have to laugh about something let me show you the bottom bottom is the eight of wands which is really fast. So you go from this slow energy, this meditation. I mean, I do think of fast when I think of the herd. I mean, they became, the herd can be like chilling, drinking from the lake, eating the grass, 
but they can also run together. Um, and then you have this. You do have somebody holding your hand here. It's like, or this person's like, come on. That's kind of what I get. Like, dive in. It's like she's going to jump off this cliff. Like, let's go. Let's do it. We're cliff diving. Let's, don't, I'm not even taking my clothes off. We're going in. <laughs> and this person's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know. Might need to, you know, really, she, oh, you know, or that person might be really into it. Like, yeah, let's go. But it looks like somebody is, like, helping somebody. Like, come on. Come on. You're going to love it and bringing somebody along like this is really fast moving once you jump off that cliff it's gonna start moving so whatever was slow here i mean it's gonna eventually bring you this clarity this idea of how to manifest this happiness or have more of these moments at least these small little moments make up our book of life and I think this is something that's just going to be like, you got to dive on in. Eight of Wands is when everything moves at once really fast. Sometimes this is Cupid's arrows. This could be when a relationship just starts really fast or gets back on track. It could be a lot of love coming your way from a lot of different places or a lot of information you're getting from a lot of different sources. Or it could be you branching out bigger than you were before and connecting to a bigger herd of people that hear you and really being received. Let's clarify with the 78 doors tarot and we get to use both decks. Clarity on the eight. I also see the sunflowers. Here. So when I see sunflowers, I think of those big flowers that like kind of like, they're like, hello sun, hello sun, hello sun. Hello, son. They just kind of like follow that warmth. They follow those opportunities. You know, they kind of like say yes, and then they say yes again. It's like that, you know, they're just kind of happy. And they're also nutritious. You know, it's a pretty flower, but they're really strong. And they have sunflower seeds. Like, there's, they're not just a normal flower. They provide, like, you know, nourishment for nature. Maybe you like sunflower seeds. made me think of a bagel <laughs> like breakfast food I just thought of sunflower seeds um, and you're going towards I mean you're, you're going in the lake but there are mountains around which are like they can be obstacles or they can be things you're building things that give you strength Get one card clarity on Layla Desiree, Zebra, Gorilla, Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Go ahead, collect it. The Five of Cups. Yeah, maybe somebody does need help. Maybe this is you. This is an interesting version of this. I mean, when there's all this nice energy, sometimes you have to look at another facet of why you got it or what was going on to bring you there. So if it's the five of cups, I mean, usually that's like feeling really sad, you know, like there's all these cups that spilled and you're processing a situation and it could be like a morning energy. It's just like, you're not looking at the possibility you're not looking, you're looking at, you're looking at everything through a darker filter. It's like a gray filter and that's okay because it's processing something. So it's okay to not always be in happy town, but you always do have something that is possible. You always do have that love around you, that help around you. It's just maybe asking for it or saying yes to it. It could be you offering it. Um, I feel like that is a thing where time, it's just, not, it has to be natural timing, the right timing. If somebody's not ready for the help, they're not going to take it. Um, but here is a weird version, even though it's the five of chalices. It's a woman in the second floor with like fire under her. 
So maybe feeling trapped. It's like fiery, even though it's supposed to be water energy. So maybe it's fire water. Maybe something came like got heated all of the sudden. I mean, luckily it looks, I don't know. I mean, it could be like, I mean, she looks like she sees somebody. So there's somebody around you that can offer you some help. They can help put out that fire, put out that situation, um, bring you a ladder. Um, you are safe because you're in the second floor and there's no fire at all up there. So you're like kind of trapped, but kind of still safe, but you do need to maybe get out of a situation that felt too heated. Um, or somebody else is in a situation and they're, they're kind of okay, but they're kind of not okay. They really need to exit. So you're helping somebody get out of something, providing some kind of support, letting them dive into your pool. It's such opposite energy than other five, uh, five of cups. This woman's like, hey, <laughs> got a situation over here. So maybe it's just asking for help. Like, ask for some help if, if there's support around you. Or maybe it's just saying, hey, I see you're in a situation. Just know I'm here if you need me. And then leave it at that because not everyone is ready for that help. That's what this is. At the bottom, you have the stars. I mean, can I show this card? I think you can show butts on YouTube. I don't think that's bad, but let me cover the crack. <laughs> Just in case. I don't know when YouTube got weird. She's beautiful. The star is beautiful. This is a beautiful thing to end on. It's Major Arcana 17. You are letting something go. Oh, that's cool. It's like somebody's bringing you those water pails, you know, to put out that flamey situation. Maybe it has to do with an old flame. You know, someone's dealing with a situation that was like, uh, you know, going through something that ended or something like that. Or a new flame. That doesn't have to be you, that could be someone else. But this healing energy with the stars, it just brings hope, it brings back hope. There's something that's going to bring you back hope. This is the chance to heal, which is different for all of us and different for every situation. Um, I do see her like bringing these two, I'm gonna cover the butt again, these two water pails. It's like this, you know, this girl's here and she's like, hey, can you bring me some of that water, <laughs> please? I got a little situation over here. Like, I know you're hanging out in your skivvies over there, like, but how about you come my way? So something is going to have a healing resolution. This brings back hope. It's faith. It's another chance. It's a new chance. It's like always really tapping in, like knowing that after anything that's going on or where you're going or how slow you have to wait or how fast you have to move, or how you have to blend in or where you should stand out or what to do with those ideas or that how do I handle all this abundance and bubble baths that are coming my way it's that there's always that thing that connects you to the universe it's that higher self part of you it's your soul that helps to bring you these answers that helps gently direct you along your way that whispers to you beautiful things that help to bring you clarity or just kind of like, hey, you weren't looking over there. Somebody's offering you something really beautiful. You know, it's okay to be over here. You obviously went through something, but time to change your focus. And once you change your focus, everything looks different. You start to see that North Star all the time. You're like, wow, I just, feel really blessed. So I think we will end the reading with that. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you had some kind of clarity in whatever came through. I love you so much. 
Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.